Ryan, we are all aware of the outstanding statistics that you accumulated throughout your NHL career. But tonight I want to relay a story behind the scenes between you and I. Do you remember the day that I came to your condo shortly after I owned the Sabres? And I asked you, which players in the NHL do you respect the most? Who has the most talent? Who's the hardest to play against? You got up from your seat, went to another room, and came back with several notebooks. In those notebooks were game notes, details, and diagrams that only a student of the game would keep. I was amazed. So tonight, we raise your jersey to honor your on-ice accomplishments. But that day, I had a front row seat to witness the intense preparation that you did before each and every game. It was the 1999 draft. He had just signed coming from Michigan State. We drafted this kid who was like so skinny at the run around the shower to get wet. Yeah, that's my first impression was he might need to put on a few pounds, but then you see him on the ice. And Pass in front of the net. Here's a shot right on. Miller makes the save. Backhand. What a save by Miller. Competitive, intense. A burning desire to win hockey games. Serious. <laughs> kind of always trying to dial things in. He's got a plan. He was fast, he could move, he was a very good skater. His anticipation was, was second to none. I felt that his hockey IQ was off the charts. You know, I don't think he ever saw a play that he hadn't kind of prepared for in some way or shape or form. He could focus. I think his focus was very good. The combination of his ability to read the game and play the game was starting to emerge. Quickly you realized that this could be a franchise goaltender. He just looked like he was going to be that goalie that could just carry a team. And then he took the net and never let it go. He had won the Vezina. He was the best goalie in the Olympics. Guys like Nilsey make a good team a better team. A guy that pushes teammates to be more competitive. Without even knowing it, he made me better. They give hope to your lineup that's on the bench. Because we had Ryan, we felt we could take chances. And they make the other bench go, huh. You know going in, you gotta be good tonight, because if, if you're not, it's gonna be a tough night. These are characteristics of a strong young man, and yet quite humble. He knew that he was a major part of our team. So when he spoke and he said something, people listened. I remember the catwalk for charity. Pretty amazing to watch how much the community's gotten behind this event and our foundation. You know, people idolize some of these athletes, but at the end of the day, it's about being a human being. It's about showing a general interest in somebody and making somebody else's life better. Our community's forever changed because of Ryan Miller. I think his work ethic represented the city so well. Buffalo is passionate. Buffalo is considerate. Buffalo comes in and welcomes you with their arms wide open. And I think that's what made Ryan Miller this Buffalo sports person. That's his town. That's his town. Uh, the people of Buffalo are amazing. I never heard a building erupt like it. The number, as we all look at it, it's an integer. It's just a number. And the greatness is what's inside that jersey. And every time I'm going to look up and see his banner up there, I'll think of a few things. He's a consummate professional. His passion for the game, his passion for winning, some of the amazing saves that he's made. To me, it's the person that he was. It's the leader that he was. An icon of hard work matching his love of the game. Work ethic, preparation, structure, like all these words. That's Ryan Miller right there. He's really set the tone, what the culture should be. You know, that number 30 is, is his in Buffalo forever. If you were to say number 30, I would say Ryan Miller. There's no doubt in my mind that that jersey belongs in our rafters. When they write books about him, you should read. I'm glad I won't be only one goalie whose jersey is up at the roof, so I feel very good about it. Ryan Miller? Kim and I both salute your great Sabres career.